It has ultra high vacuum capabilities, but it can also let in atmosphere to measure, to test how uh, surfaces that are catalysts will respond when gases are there. So the idea is, for instance, a catalytic converter in your car, it's a catalyst, it's a solid, but it catalyzes a reaction in a, a vapor that's near the catalyst. So they need to be able to let those vapors into the system, and that's a challenge. So here they have part of it that's in an ultra high vacuum, they can do sample preparation, then they can move that into another portion where they expose it to some gases. They have a scanning tunneling microscope. Um, they have some other things. Oh, ion scattering. They can shoot ions off of it. That gives you slightly different information. Uh, as ions hit the sample and bounce back, you can tell what element they hit when they bounce back. Uh, because if they hit a heavy element, they bounce back harder than if they hit a light element. Um, they probably can do other tricks too. I don't know off the top of my head. There are several more neat machines down this way you can take a walk by, but I'm afraid I don't have time to uh, describe them all to you. Uh, that's a scanning tunneling microscope. Um, here, oh, this is actually a nanoprobe, so if you have a wire and you want to measure the conductivity of it, if it's a nanometer wide wire, it's very difficult. You can't just put alligator clips on it. So there's a whole machine designed to have several little probes that you can touch to your nanoscale wire and then measure the current, the conductivity of just of that wire. Um, and that it's a simple process, but it's much it's very difficult when the wire is too small to see. Uh, so there's a special machine particularly for that, and could do a variety of other. You can run current through a diode; it emits light, and then you can see how much light is coming out too. Um, they also have some other facilities at the synchrotron where they use X-rays to probe surfaces. Uh, they have something down the hall. It's another STM that is uh, low temperature. It's, it's cryo temp, uh, so that you can study things at low temperatures. And then it has a laser. You can excite the materials on your sample at low temperatures, see how the electrons jump around, and then study them with a scanning tunneling microscope. I'm sorry I'm running through the end, but I think we're out of time. Uh, so why don't we head off this way? <laughs>